Today I'll show you how to create an interactive video slider like this. So when you click on the button, the slide changes and you'll see a new video. You can easily add this to your website without any code. We'll just use a free plugin and set up the slider with just five easy steps. Let's start by installing the plugin we'll need for our slider. Go to your WordPress dashboard, select plugins and click add new. In the search bar, type premium add-ons for Elementor. Here it is. Let's install and activate it. Now, we need to enable a couple of features in Elementor. So go to Elementor, click on features and activate both nested elements and Flexbox containers. Save your changes and done. Next, let's create some custom templates to use as our slides. Go to templates in your WordPress dashboard and click on add new. Choose container as the type and let's name it video one. Click create and let's add the video now. Drag and drop the video widget here and paste the link to your video on the left side. Okay, one quick tip. If you want your video slider to play automatically, like I showed in the intro, then go here and turn auto play on. If you want to play it by clicking on the navigation button, then keep this off. Okay, so I don't want any gaps around the video. So let's go to the advanced settings and set the padding to zero. Next, click here, select full width and set the height to VH100. VH is a viewport height which is essentially the size of your screen. So setting it to 100 means that the video covers the entire screen. Click update and our first template is ready. Now repeat this process to create as many video templates or slides as you want. I'll create four slides quickly. I've named them video one, two, and so on. Now let's create a slider. Go back to our WordPress dashboard and click on pages. Then click on add new page and give your page a name. Once done, click on edit with Elementor to start building. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you reach here, go to the left widget bar and search for the container widget. Here it is. Let's drag it to your page like this. From the left, set it to full width. Now go to the advanced settings and set the padding to zero. Now we'll be adding the carousel that we got from the plugin we installed. Just search for the carousel widget and drag it to the container like this. Now go to the advanced settings, padding and set it to zero. This will remove any gaps around your video. All right, now let's head back to the content settings and change this content type to repeater. Also set the appearance to one at a time like this. Leave these options as one slide per screen and add them. Then click add item. Here we'll select the first video template we created earlier. So I'll select video one and repeat this process for the other three video templates. Once that's done, your carousel will be almost ready and it should look something like this. Now let's adjust the navigation settings. Just scroll down and click here. I'll set the navigation to none because I don't want any indicators showing on the video. I'll also turn off autoplay, but you can leave it on if you want the slides to play automatically. Okay, our slides are almost ready. We just need to add the slider buttons that change the slides. To do that, go to the style tab to customize the icons. Choose the ones you like from here. You can also upload custom icons by clicking here. I'll just set an icon here and increase the size so they are more visible. I'll also change the color to white from here, but you can pick any color that contrasts nicely with your background video. Okay, we are all done now. Uh, let's click on publish and take a look at our site. All right, your customized video slider is ready and should be working like this. You can also add image sliders or mix both videos and images. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.